option as well. So, start off with your angle. How much? 24 degrees. degrees. Which direction? Towards the calcaneus or the towards the head, cephalid, yeah. 40 degrees. All right, uh, go ahead and well, yeah. lay down right, sir. Goodness, we got these patients all the time. Um, all right, so what I'm going to need you to do is I'm going to need you to scoot up just a smidge. We got the like the next to the tall person in the class for me to come today, huh? <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Have the marker. SID needs to be at 40. All right, so what I'm going to need you to do is I'm going to need you to dorsiflex your foot 90 degrees. You want to go ahead? Can you sit and do this okay comfortably? Yep. Sit up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to move you back a little bit more. All right, you're going to have to scoot up just a smidge. All right, and part of this is part of the battle, guys, is getting your patient situated on the table properly so you can get what you need to get. All right, so central ray needs to be where? Base of the third metatarsal. It's gonna be right about, right about there. Still wanna to try to have our image centered on our image receptor. Dorsiflex a little bit more, there we go. If the patient cannot dorsiflex to 90 degrees, you're gonna to need to increase your angle slightly. Which joint do we need to see open on this projection? Calcaneal cuboidal, all right? Yes. All right, so probably made about an inch around. Marker on the lateral side as always. Be sure your patient is shielded, especially since we are angling this cephalic. We want to be sure we shield our patients. All right, is there any breathing instructions or anything we need to tell them? What do we need to tell them? Be still, don't move. Don't leave your patient like this too long, they'll start to get a cramp. We'll see how long it takes. <laughs> no, don't do that, just without Alfredo. Um, all right, so that's your first exposure. Any questions on that one? Okay, now let me have you go ahead and hold on, I'm gonna put the table back down a little bit now. All right, now let me have you go ahead and lie down, and I'm gonna have you roll over to your left side for me. All right, bring this leg back. Dorsiflex the foot again. Good. Since we're right here, it needs to be where, guys? No. One inch inferior to the medial malleolus. Yes, not mid shaft. That's for the other. That's all right, medial malleolus. One inch inferior. Get centered in the IR as best as you can. Marker is going to go anteriorly or you can put it posterior, whichever side it fits. What kind of angle do we need between the foot and the lower leg? 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So we have, we are an inch inferior to the medial malleolus. Patient holds still. Take a shot. Questions on this one? Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Just be sure your SID is right. Just testing y'all, y'all all failed. Ooh, we're only like an inch off. Um, no questions. Pretty simple? All right. Go ahead and stop. 